No Easter spread is complete without desserts, and the cooking mom is whipping up a fresh take on it. Now she makes a no-bake trifle cheesecake. Hey everybody, it's Amy, the cooking mom, back with another recipe. This is a quick, easy, beautiful, no-bake dessert. And if you like cheesecake, your gang is gonna love this. Uh, strawberry cheesecake trifles. Now you can do it in one big glass dish or I love doing minis. Either way, it's all fantastic. So I started with some diced strawberries and if you're doing them in little mini dishes, you want to dice them up pretty small and then I added a little bit of sugar and just let the strawberries hang out with the sugar that gets them nice and sweet and juicy. And it's up to you how much sugar you want to add, just depends on how, you know, sweet those strawberries are. The next thing I did is I cut up some pound cake. You can just buy this at the grocery store, or sometimes it's in the freezer section. And again, cut them into smaller cubes if you're doing little minis. By minis, I mean these are mini trifle dishes. You could also do them in wine glasses, martini glasses, juice glasses, even clear plastic cups in the summer if you want to keep things really easy breezy. But they look so pretty and everybody gets their own dessert, which is really fun. All right, the other thing I've got going here is I've got cheesecake pudding. I've mixed that together with some milk. It's instant cheesecake pudding, a little bit of lemon zest. And then to that, I'm going to add some whipped topping and that's going to make it a nice, light, fluffy filling. And now we're going to put these together and they're so delicious and they're so easy. You can make them ahead. So we're just going to start layering and there's no, you know, it's not rocket science, but just get some of the berries and some of the, the yummy cheesecake filling, a little dollop of that. And you can just keep adding with more cake, it just really depends on how big you want them to be. At a certain point, if you're doing this ahead, cover them with plastic wrap and get them into the refrigerator. And then right before serving, I like to uncover them and have a real wow rock star kind of moment. Topping them with some whipped cream, reserved whipped cream that I'm piping them. You could just do a nice big dollop, maybe a little strawberry in there maybe some fresh mint, and these are always a winner and so, so pretty and easy. There you go. Enjoy, and as I always say, cook up some memories. We'll see you next time.